I'm John Murphy. And I'm Scott Murphy. And we're out at YankeeMailbox.com Stadium. We call this the Cauldron. And we're demonstrating free ball. It's played with the Pen QST 36 foam ball. We're playing on a 50-foot court with a 3-foot net. It's 16 feet wide and it has one service box. Once the ball goes in the service box on the serve, then the alleys become open for play. We're going to be playing a seven-point tiebreaker. Scott, can you tell them a little bit about this game? Oh, it's a great game. This particular ball here just allows you to get into longer and more intricate points because the ball moves slower through the air. You have more control with your racket, so you can apply a lot of different spins to the ball, and you get different ball flights, so it makes for some really interesting play, and it's a lot of fun. You know, control is great because it makes you feel unafraid to play this game. It makes you f feel free, and that's why we call it free ball. Excellent. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to get in the box and play some free ball. Okay, we'll show you how it's done. Seven point tiebreaker.
Nope. That was some great free ball. And I just, I'm thinking way back to when we first started playing this game, how it originated. How did this ghost got up? What happened? Well, we had been tennis players, you know, throughout our lives, and uh, we stopped playing tennis because uh, the game was just, you know, it was a very fast game. It was you know, more difficult to cover the court as we got a little older. And, that's right. But we still wanted to play, and uh, we wanted to hit, we love hitting shots. And Everybody what, likes warming up, you know, yeah. hitting the ball back and forth. Yeah. And we said, hey, let's just get out and hit some ball balls again. Right. And, and we went to the store, we saw this Penn QST 36 ball, and we said, well, this is a trainer ball. Let's see how it flies. Yeah. Came out here on the back pavement of Yankee Mailbox, started hitting them back and forth. And wow, this thing flies great. It's fun to hit. You know, you can impart all sorts of spin on the ball. It has excellent ball flight that you can shape, and you can shape your shots Inside with it. out, top yeah. spin, lobs like you can't believe. And it gives you a little more time, this ball, to get set up underneath it and give it a good whale. Right, a very consistent bounce to the ball. So we, we built a game around this ball. And we, as we started hit, to hit this ball, we started to get the range for you know, the way, how we could hit this ball. And a, yeah, we're striking forehands back and forth. We're saying, right. gee, let's build a court. We got to make a box here. And uh, we just basically got a three foot net. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's soil retaining net. Set it up across the, this, this, uh, this pavement here. And we set up the court for 50 feet because that was a nice comfortable stroke, 50 feet. And the next thing you know, we started working with the width of the court and we were laying down uh, scotch tape. That yep. was fun. Yep. And we, we ended up with this configuration, which just has one service box. I like that. What, what do you think of the one service box concept? I like it because the court's compact enough that you can cover the, uh, uh, the, uh, the entire court with the serve. You know, the serve, you can find the angles here. You can't serve to the diagonals here because the court's a little small for that. So this opens up the serving game a little bit more. Uh, and it's really, a, I think it's an optimum uh, configuration for the game. It makes for great long points, mm -hmm. intricate action, lobs, topspin volleys, all kinds of crazy shots you've never hit before. Yeah, for sure. Hey, you know, we just want to tell you about free ball. And this was brought to you by yankeemailbox.com, the, the first, first impression, impression of your home. home.